That's exactly right. And I, and I do actually totally agree with you that there does seem this particular targeting of black American voices. And I can't figure that I can't figure that out. I don't know why it is. But on the other hand, and I think uh, we talked about this a little bit before we started recording, those black representatives and leaders, political leaders that don't fall in line are subject to particular scrutiny um, and particularly particularly forceful pushback. And I think that's part of what you experience as part of what I experienced. The Stop Anti-Semitism account recently decided to post a picture of a random black high school student who had said that they want to free Palestine, really targeting in particular um, black people because I think they're capitalizing on this stereotype that because there is, I think, a longstanding tradition of black people kind of empathizing with the situation of Palestinians, because frankly, it is familiar that we have historically also been tarred with the label anti-Semite and it's a method to effect effectively shut down conversations about this issue. That's exactly right. And I, and I do actually totally agree with you that there does seem this particular targeting of black American voices. And I can't figure that I can't figure that out. I don't know why it is, but this you're labeled anti-Semite from Michael Jackson, uh, you know, me. And I'm going, what, what are you even what are you talking about? There's literally no record of this. I've worked for Jewish companies my entire life. How did I just become a raging anti-Semite simply because I have questions about what is happening to these innocent Palestinian children and why we are treating them like their lives don't matter? Again, my position is that what we're seeing operating in the media are racial supremacists. And I think that uh, there are taking the wrong side here. I, I, I feel it. You can you can sense it in the air. So what did I tell you guys six days, actually literally a week ago, before Candace Owens came together with Brianna Joy Gray so they could come together for their disdain and their lies towards Israel? What did I say that these two black psychopathic females were going to do? They're going to come together and play a victim narrative over their disdain of Israel. They're going to tell you that they're the victims and that they've both been fired uh, just because they can't question what's going on in Israel. It, they're disgusting. They're very disgusting. And that's the thing. As many of you know, and this does not apply to the black independents. This does not apply to the genuine God-fearing black Christians. I'm not talking to you guys. But rather, I'm talking to the blend of black liberals and black conservatives that at this point, I'm looking at them like they're all the same at this point. Quite frankly, I am. Because as you know, in the black community, the black woman leads the black community, not the black man. And that doesn't only apply towards the black lefties, black liberals, and black Democrats, but I'm seeing that in the black conservative side as well. For instance, when Candace Owens started calling out the Jews, the Hodge twins weren't calling them out prior to that, but when the black woman Candace Owens started calling them out, then the Hodge twins, the two black men, got on board and started calling them out as well. So I say that to say that now that Candace Owens is playing a narrative in addition to saying that she is a victim and Brianna Joy Gray are victims, since she's saying, I don't know why, you know, black people are getting under attack and she, she sees supreme racism within the news networks. And she's saying that now, now that you black male conservatives or the ones that you, you know, you guys worship Candace Owens and everything that she does, you guys believe that she's right. And a lot of you black men on the right, you always pick out the wrongdoings of the black community. Are you going to agree with Candace Owens when she says, oh, I don't understand, like, there's this racism, you know, going on with the black community. Now that she said that as the woman... Are you as black men going to follow her in, in what she said? Are you guys going to follow her now, just like the Hodge twins did? Again, black liberal, black conservatives in, in numerous ways. Again, this doesn't apply to genuine black Christians. This doesn't apply to the black independents. Most certainly does not apply to like someone like Ben Carson or Larry Elder. But for the most part, a lot of you 2020, oh, I'm a black conservative now. Yeah, this, this applies to a lot of you guys. So your, your leader... The black woman, Candace Owens, she's saying that there's like racism and attack going on towards black people now. So now do you guys approve? Now do you agree?